Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup for fall. Yes, it is almost fall. So I'm just going to jump right in because I don't want to talk much. I already moisturized my face and primed my face and I'm going to be using my favorite foundation at the moment. Yes, it is the Maybelline Fit Me, but it's the matte and poreless one. I am in love with this foundation. I'm going to be using this brush by e.l.f. I just like love this brush so much. I've been using it so much. I don't even know how many months I've been using this brush. It's like, what? I don't even know. Three dollars maybe? So yeah, you guys should definitely get this brush. I think it's the Face X. No, I don't even know. All over face brush? I don't know what this brush is. I will link all the products down below if you guys want to know all the products that I'm using like in detailed and stuff. I'll have all the colors of foundation and everything I'm using. So now I'm going to be using this CoverGirl concealer. It's the really set gorgeous concealer. I love this concealer. Now I used to hate it but now I'm just in love with this stuff. I already gone through two bottles of this stuff so I'm in love and I'm going to be using like a little sponge to blend all this concealer out. I used to use my beauty blender a lot but I've been trying this little sponge out. It's really really small and like detailed so I've been loving this sponge so far. So then I'm going to be using this palette I got from Amazon and I'm going to be baking my face. Yes, if you guys haven't heard of the method called baking, it is just putting a bunch of powder under like places that you want to highlight or on places you want to highlight like I'm doing right now on my nose and I'm going to do it under my eyes and my cupid's bow, my chin and a little bit on my forehead and I'm just going to let that sit for like a few minutes, maybe like a minute I would say, not like a few minutes, like a minute and then just do like my contour or something like that and then I'll wipe all the powder off but I recommend using translucent powder, don't use any colors because I went with that and it actually looked really bad in pictures, like when I would take pictures it would just be like that yellow cast and it didn't look good at all. So I recommend using translucent powder if you're going to do it. But right now I'm just going to bronze up my face and I'm using the stippling brush by e.l.f. And I kind of go a little bit more dramatic with my contour, I just kind of like it that way. But you guys don't have to do it this way, I just really like putting it like down near my lips. I don't, I don't know, I kind of go a little bit more farther. But some days I kind of go more far and some days I don't, but yeah. excess powder off and voila we got my face I love this method so much and I'm also gonna blend out some of that contour too because I don't want any harsh lines I just want it to look kind of natural but not really if you guys know what I mean Then I'm going to be using this really really pretty blush by Essence, it's the Silky Touch blush and I don't remember what color it is, I'll put it in the, uh, the link below, but it's just so pretty and Essence blushes are just so so cheap. Just basically everything from Essence is just so cheap but just so good quality, I love them. So then I'm going to use Physicians Formula, I think this is a bronzer but I use it as a highlight anyways. And then I'm going to be using the same sponge I used for my concealer and I'm just going to put this bad boy all over my face and just... I just really been liking like doing this lately. It just goes back and forth like matte, dewy, matte, dewy. I don't really know. So then I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette and I'm gonna be combing my brush. I just needed like a mirror and I'm gonna be using this palette anyways for my eyes in like a minute. But right now I just had to comb my eyebrows out because they were totally bothering me. 
then I'm gonna be using Skimp out of the Naked palette and I'm gonna be putting it all over my eyelid just because it's got like a base color and it just brightens up my eyelid. So then I'm gonna be using Frisk and the crease of my eyelid. I was gonna say eye, the crease on my eyelid, it just adds depth in my eyelid. I just think it just re looks really, really pretty. I just can't talk today, I'm sorry guys. I just think it looks really, really pretty. It just adds the perfect amount of depth and yeah. Then I'm going to be using one of my favorite colors of this palette, Cover, and it is such a, oh I love it, such a pretty color. And I'm going to be using it as well in the crease of my eyelid just to add a little bit more depth. I'm kind of going for like a smoky eye because fall is coming up because this is a fall video, so y'all. Okay, and then I'm going to be using Undone in my crease again, just because I want more depth because it's pretty much fall almost, and I go for darker eyes in fall, and I usually use tape guys, but just this time I forgot, I honestly did, because I don't like when my eyeshadow's messy, I just forgot this time. So then I'm going to be using this blending brush, well I call it a blending brush, but it's not. It's a concealer brush by e.l.f., but it's perfect for blending out your eyeshadows. I am just in love with it. So then I'm going to be using this perfect, perfect palette. It's the Blush Nudes palette by Maybelline, and I'm going to be using the two sparkly colors in this palette. They are so, so pretty. I love them. So then I'm going to be using my favorite mascara ever and I think it's the Colossal, mm, I don't even know the name of this mascara, it's a Colossal something and it's by Maybelline, that's all I know. But it's just, it's really really good mascara, it doesn't make my like eyelashes spidery which I like. So then I'm going to be using um, I think Skimp again, I always get these two colors mixed, like the two light colors mixed up, but I think this is Skimp and I'm going to be using this as a brow highlight. Because it's just perfect for that. It just brightens up everything and just cleans up everything. I love this color. So then I'm going to be using this lip liner. It's by Essence as well. And I think it's in cute pink. And I'm going to be overlining my lips because today I just felt like a more dramatic look. And I just, I love these lip liners. They're really cheap guys and they're so good. They're so good. They stay on like all day. They're just, they're really perfect. I love them. So now I'm going to be using this lipstick by Essence. It's such a pretty nude color. I am in love with this color just by itself with colors. I love this. So, so pretty and by Essence as well and I love it. So that is my everyday makeup look for fall. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I haven't been filming a lot lately. I haven't been filming at all actually. I'm really sorry guys. I actually been to Florida recently and then I got my wisdom teeth taken out and then I went to Muskoka and then I got strep throat. So I've been really really busy but I promise I will be making more videos now and I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.